Hey guys, Triumph here. I got a little tutorial. So, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is to make custom shapes using splines. So, here I have a model I made for Era, which my bro Weston's turning into an intro sometime soon. And if you like look closely, I have a bunch of custom shapes here. And I what I didn't do, I didn't pen tool them. In Photoshop, I did this all in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's just let's create a new one. And let's go into the front view. And on your spline, select the do linear. So if I want to make like a panel, let's say, I could just click. Click up here, right there, let's bring it down a bit, make that straight, and just, you just make the outside of the shape what you would like to fill in. So there I have my spline, what you can then do is just get extrude nerves, just drag the spline in. And you have your shape, which you can move around and whatever. Another thing you can do, so let me check the spline out. Um, let's say I wanted to add like a circle cut here. So I could just bring in a circle. Let's make this smaller. So of the part of the circle that's overlapping I could make it so that's like cut out so the trick is is it's oh, ah, last one you select a spline mask so just bring that in drag both your splines in and right now the spline mask is on a like union B or a plus B so it like combines them in a way Oh, let's actually move this to zero zero so that it's saying. So here it combined it like it merged the circle with this one. Or you can change it to A subtract B, so um what's it called? The circle would be A, this would be B. And it just cuts that part of the circle that is overlapping, or you can change it to B subtract A, which is what we'd want. Just makes that circle cut. And then you can just get extra nerves and drag the spline mask in. And then you have your shape again with the circle cut out this time. That's just a little quick tutorial of how you can make custom shapes in Cinema 4D. Hope this helps you guys with some modeling.